Hello folks, and welcome to another episode of Unending Pain. So, after the tragedy of uh, last video, I sure hope the country that we have performed in this video is much, much more fun to play, let's say. Mu much less brain melting and, like, life ruining, honestly. So, according to the wiki, the next formable country in alphabetical order would be the Alpine Confederation. Okay, that's, that does sound a bit less pain than Ethiopia, but let's see. And of course, like the last episode and all episodes, I I'm gonna do for this series to increase my pain i'm gonna turn historical ai focuses off because you know uh we like pain here on the hollow bean youtube channel okay well at least we start in a better position than ethiopia because we actually have factories that's like fantastic looking at the focus tree there are a few ways to form the alpine confederation and one of them is like, you know, the fascist way. And then the other one is like this way on the left of the focus tree. And uh, I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be the communist path, but like because to do some of these things, you need like low democracy and fascism support. This is probably meant to be the communist path. And so, yeah, I'm going to do this path. How it works in Switzerland is that I can elect one of my advisors here to be like the president of the confederation and so i can kind of like get rid of them i think <laughs> I, I i'm not sure and so i'm just gonna try to get rid of like one of the, like the, the democratic ones i think they're all democratic and start and then i'm gonna get a communist one i guess you know I, I was kind of looking at these and i realized some of them do have like useful roles you know like intelligence officer you know weapons designer but then like some of them are straight up just like fascist <laughs> what's your perk what what do you bring to the table yeah i'm a fascist Fantastic, you're hired. Okay, so it seems that Germany is going full German Empire instead of German Reich, so I don't know what that means for us, but... And also, apparently, to do some of the focuses, like, uh, on the left here, I have to get rid of the cantons and have to go more federal council. I don't know what the fuck the cantons are, but you know, fuck them. I'm gonna go allied gold because in 70 years, people won't give us shit about storing access gold anymore. Alright, well, Italy is in a civil war. And apparently, we also have to keep these numbers above, like, negative 85 or else any of them get, like, a free war goal on us. It just says, might declare war on the Swiss Confederation. Like, that means that they're gonna get, like, a war goal, right? <laughs> Scary. I mean, German Reich is gonna die anyway. So so might as well denounce them, right? Even if they get pissed at me, what are they gonna do? Die? I like how one of my, like, military high command people is called Adolf Fuhrer. That sounds like an alias that Hitler would use in Argentina so that people don't figure out that he's Hitler, but everyone totally knows that he's Hitler. Okay, so now I'm gonna do press for Vorarlberg, which is basically asking Austria, yo, can you give us this small little fucking nothing province here? Hey, they gave it to us. Nice. Alright, so we have Vorarlberg. So now now what we can do with the next focus is preempt Anschluss. August von Mackensen, the, the man known for Anschlussing Austria. So now we're gonna do an Anschluss of Austria, except it's not an evil Anschluss because Switzerland is doing it. We are the nice guys, I swear. We're gonna keep improving relations with Austria because they're gonna have to really like us to accept. It's not even like, would you like to be our puppet so that we can uh, protect you? It's literally just, would you like to be part of our country now? And yes, Switzerland is big now. And now next, I think what we can can do right is if i remember correctly yes we can demand the italian and the french alps and by the way these swiss citizen and militia units they're fucking hot garbage like they have a combat width of a whopping eight and you might be wondering why am i training up so many of these then is because i can convert all of these to regular infantry divisions which means that like i can make a bunch of these cheap shitty units but then uh, i can like just instantly make an actual good army out of them i think after the french alps i think i'm just gonna wait for the italian union to win against uh the you know mussolini's italy so that they're more willing to give me these alps okay now i hope this works yes perfect we're pretty long there we go so now i think the italian union is more likely to accept my demand for the italian alps let's also improve relations with them because they don't seem to like us that much what better way to make a country great than put an anarchist as one of your advisors i hopefully they accept nice okay yes switzerland is even bigger now perfect perfect and now what we can do is the Alpine Protectorate. The United States pursues interventionist policies. Just don't get in my way, all right? Don't get in the way of the most neutral nation in the world, Switzerland. Okay, we're gonna research paratroopers because that's like the best way I know how to take France out. And then with France's industry and manpower, we can probably take out Italy. All right, we are now the Alpine Protectorate. And now we're stuck as non-aligned, which kind of sucks because we can't really justify war goals at any world tension as non-aligned. 
But it's fine. We'll make the world tension spike up by killing France. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna protect France. Protect them. Also, our flag looks so fucking evil. Look at that. Maybe we're the bad guys. The United States and the UK are already in the Allies. That's a pain in the ass. I might not take out the Allies this game. Now there's a civil war in the British Empire. <laughs> Alright, so the British Empire has won out. So the leader of the Allies now is the United States. So that's gonna make the UK much easier to cap off. I might do that after I kill France and Italy. Also, Spain is always an easy target. I'm gonna kill them as well. Alright, so the France killers are done researching, so we'll start deploying those as soon as possible. Okay, so we have our paratroopers ready, and I think we have a pretty good air force. Well, we don't really need a good air force, we just need to catch them by surprise, which we will. I really like this method of taking out France, because it feels like I'm good at the game when I'm really not. Alright, so the operation <laughs> has been set up. It should go off without a hitch, right? I, I think. So we'll just declare the war, then immediately catch them off guard. Let's kill them instantly. There we go. <laughs> My favorite way of taking out France. Look at the Alpine Protectorates now. I'm not sure why Free France exists. These are not in a faction. I don't know why they haven't capitulated. That's kind of annoying. You know what? I guess I'll also do paradroppers on this then. Okay, so now I have a little paradrop operation here and it should work. We'll see. There we go. Okay, now Free France has been. I don't know. I don't know what. I didn't even capture Ajaccio. I don't know why that even worked. Let's just annex all of France. Let's also steal their fleet. And there we go. Now we are uh, big. And okay, the Polish Peasant Republic just joined the Fourth International. I don't like how that sounds because that means Italy might join soon. So I'm going to kill off Italy like right away. And while they're still caught off guard, I'm just going to quickly kill them. <laughs> is what I was gonna say, but then I realized my focus isn't even done yet. I have to wait 30 more days. Okay, now we're gonna quote-unquote liberate Italy. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, well, we've already encircled quite a bit of the army here. Alright, well, we've taken Rome, so that's good. I don't know why pop-ups always come up when I talk. <laughs> they always interrupt me when I talk. They, they interrupt my thought process. Oh great, that notification. Yep, they joined the 4th International. For some reason, the Union of Soviet Republic has a front here, so I'm gonna have to cover that up. Alright, well, the Soviets lost their land here for some reason, so... That's convenient. I don't know why they even had that to begin with. Oh great, now they did a naval invasion. They even noticed Soviets had it in them to do something like that. I didn't want to do this, but we're clearly having trouble here, so I'm just gonna join the central powers. You know, Germany hasn't fought in like 30 years, I'll let them have their fun. Alright, so Leningrad has fallen, let's go! Yes, thank you central powers. So now Poland is dead, and now all that remains is Italy and Soviet Union. Unfortunately, I, I, I would push, but then in the end, I have zero manpower. So I should probably wait a bit. Oh no, the German Empire declared war on Belgium. And Belgium just joined the Allies. Alright, Kiev has fallen, so... Good progress we're making. Well, I'm not making it. I'm, I'm dealing with naval invasion. Alright, well, that naval invasion was even more pathetic than all the ones before. Labia, as much as I'd love to join your conflict against the United States, I'm just gonna have to politely decline. Since when did the Soviets naval invade so much? Now they're trying to do Bulgaria. Holy shit. What the fuck? Does, why does the British Empire want to send us... Are they part of the Central Powers? They are. I'm not gonna be able to invade them after this. Finally, I'm seeing some green in Italy for once. Yes, yes, okay, at last. Huzzah. Now I'm just gonna send these troops to the Soviet Union. Get this over with, this dumbass war. That should not have included the fucking USSR, but here we are. Okay, let's try to do a naval invasion. It's probably not gonna work, but we'll see. Oh, we don't even have any... Admirals. <laughs> Alright, well, look who this fucking guy. I don't know where they pulled this guy out from, but you're the admiral now. The sole admiral of the Swiss Navy. Alright, so we're not able to send this fleet here, and I'm assuming it's because we have to pass through here and we don't have access. And of course this nerd won't give me any access, so fantastic. Thank you, Turkey. You'd be so fucking dead if the UK didn't guarantee you. Did you guys like that ASMR? Okay, unfortunately, yeah, we won't be able to do this naval invasion, so we'll just send him to fight on the fronts, the eastern front. I say eastern front, but there's no other front, so it, it, it's just the front. Alright, have fun, you guys. Try not to freeze to death. I don't think there's ever been a time where this game hasn't angered me. Aren't we gonna have to walk, like, all the way to Vladivostok? I really hope we don't have to do that. 
Yeah, that's the new capital. Like, I, I do not... <sighs> Hopefully we don't have to. Like, holy shit, unless I did like a naval invasion. I'm tempted now. I might do that. I might do a little naval invasion to Vladivostok. Okay, now that Japan loves me, they still don't want to offer me docking rights, of course. Japan has strategic reasons to be hostile to the Alpine Protectorate. I'm not a masochist, I'm not gonna go to war with Japan. Should you look at my fleet? My fleet is like ships I stole from the French. I'm happy to announce that the CC Click are gonna give us docking rights. Thank you. Now, let's see if we can do the thing, if it'll reach. So they're ready in one day. Wow, good good timing. All right, let's try to do the naval invasion now. Man, playing this game after midnight is like a mistake. Like I can barely formulate sentences anymore. Spain declared war on the British. Damn it, I wanted to take Spain for myself. And Spain joined the United States. Fantastic, amazing. I hate this game, <laughs> genuinely. If this naval invasion doesn't work, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I might just go to sleep, like, immediately. You know, sleep is important. Looks like that- Yes! Yes! We have made a landing, boys. God, there's no supply. They're so slow. Ah, finally, some resistance. What? 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 Who declared war on us? Are you fucking serious? And then Japan's gonna join and take Indochina. I think- I think these- this army can't escape. Unless I capture, like, this port. I'll do that, actually. That seems like the better idea right now. Than to try to fight. Let's just like try to take this narrow ass corridor to the port. Come on boys, retreat, retreat. This is like Dunkirk, but cooler. Bro, I don't care if you have no organization. Move it, you're gonna die. <laughs> it's taking them actual centuries to get to this port. I just want to annex Italy and move on really. All right, all right, we finally captured the fort. Now, let's escape somewhere, eh? Yeah, I guess go back all the way to Italy. How about that? Damn, that was like Dunkirk, except much cooler. F fucking retreat, what are you doing? Pakistan joined the fourth international. Amazing. British Empire declared war on India. Great, now India's gonna join the allies or some shit. Or the fourth international. Oh no, are they a major? What have you done, Bryn? Oh, they're not. They're not. Okay. This has to end now. Or else I think I am losing my- I am losing my sanity. I'm having like a mental breakdown while listening to like Ghibli music while, while playing this game. Just like the most calming music and I'm just having a panic attack. Apply is great as always in the Caucasus, eh? Oh, that's the Caucasus. <laughs> my bad. I'm tired. Oh, the game froze. Yes! Soviet Union is finally fucking dead. Oh my god. Never been happier in my life. I'm also gonna take these Indian provinces because I don't have any more rubber. Someone took it all away from me. Well, if no one minds, I'm just gonna take India. That that manpower is gonna be so useful. I don't know why, but Mexico is also in this peace agreement, so don't mind if I do. Holy shit. Alright, well, that's a lot of factories. Everyone wants to join my war against Japan, but no. I have to kill them by myself so that I can get all of their provinces. I like how the USSR is dead, so now the Greek compact exists. It's like Comintern, but for like, Tanatuva and Greece. That's like the worst alliance I've ever heard of. Not to throw any shade, it just sounds like the weakest thing ever. Central powers have Germany, Britain, the Alpine Protectorate. Okay, Alpine Protectorate's kind of incompetent, but whatever. This might be the most brain-dead moron idea ever. Or it might be genius, so hear me out, right? What if I did a paradropper operation from here to like around like here or like the neck here, then just marched on to Tokyo? Doesn't that sound like the most genius idea like you've ever heard? It might work. I just looked at the para drop and it only goes as far as the transport plane goes, which is not here. I can't even like march troops from here to here. But actually, wait, what I can do is capture this port and then launch a naval invasion from this port. Might do that actually. And by the way, these paratroopers have been walking through <laughs> the entirety of continental Eurasia for the last fucking month. Is there not a faster way to get here than to fucking walk? I am gonna like do the continuation tomorrow because I'm tired and I'm starting to lose it and I've and I've already lost it today so you know what uh, tomorrow I'll be back and uh, probably more energized <laughs> okay so I'm back the next day and then I, I thought about it for like uh, the whole day right <laughs>
this makes it sound so sad. But anyways, I thought about it, right? And I just realized I'm just gonna call Germany in to help at this point because then it I can just immediately get a port here and then immediately naval invade the Japanese mainland. Because man, this is just gonna take way too long. So fuck it, yeah, sure, I'll call Germany into the war. Whatever, man. Now, the problem with being at war with Japan is that they have a virtual monopoly on all the rubber. <laughs> plane production is kind of slowing down just a bit. Also, I have way too many transport planes. I kind of left that on. It's like forgetting to turn off your oven, except worse. The masculine urge to invade Mongolia to use as an invasion point into Manguko in Japan. I won't do that, though, because they're probably going to join the greater East Coast sphere. And then I'm going to have another country to deal with. So what am I going to do instead of pushing through this? barren wasteland of a place is I'm gonna try to do a naval invasion from here. If we can just make this naval invasion succeed, then I think we kill Japan. Great, now the United States have- Why? Why are they interfering with- our war why didn't they just invade like Europe here for fuck's sake this is gonna make our job a lot harder oh you just had to come in and beat a man I'm so tempted because these lines are so thin if I were to send an army here and then you know immediately try to kill the United States then we wouldn't have this problem anymore then again I don't have a big enough army to have this front hold and have another army pushing through the United States I think Hold on. I've come to the realization that even if we put our entire fleet here, we're probably not even going to have enough naval supremacy because our fleet is like smaller than Japan's. I love it when the United States naval invades again. Oh my god, so fun. I tried to do a naval invasion and then I said we don't even have enough intel for that region. Uh, I think I'm just going to try to kill the United States. Like taking Japan would take such a bigger fleet and I do not think we have enough. So I'm thinking uh, we kill the United States take their fleet and then kill Japan apparently not all troops have arrived but you know the arrow is green so you know what uh, I mean we're breaking through decently so hopefully we can just end this quickly I mean, we take in Los Angeles, so we're doing all right here. We're not doing so good right here, though. Who knew that the continental United States were so hard to invade? Let's research nuclear bombs. We'll do a little Uno reverse card on the United States, potentially. Jesus Christ, the United States loves naval invading shit. Strikes again! Oh my god, I love getting strikes in Hearts of Iron 4. Maurice the Lightning Gross, shot down by Iceman. Guys, F's in the chat for Maurice the Lightning Gross. The greatest pilot switch uh, sorry, the Alpine Confederate. Sorry, the greatest pilot the Alpine Protectorate has ever seen. Oh my god, it didn't. The propaganda didn't work. All right, more propaganda. Holy shit, this is the third. What are the odds? 80% that it stops, and I've done that twice, and they're still striking. Again? How the fuck did it happen for the third time? It's an 80% chance when you do the propaganda, it's still not working. Oh my god, this is like the last video where the strikes are just gonna ruin us. Alright, after pausing the army for a while and then like resuming, we're actually breaking through. I mean, still, we're gonna have to get all the way here to capture like Boston, Washington, New York, you know, all these cities. Oh, that's a lot of Americans. Oh, yeah, let's go. I don't know why pausing my army and then just resuming like five minutes later is doing so well. It's not even like I have any more manpower. Maybe it's because like the Germans finally sent like their air force and the British as well. Because for a while, the Americans had like air superiority everywhere. Come on, let's get Chicago. Yes, we've gotten the funny American crime city. We got Detroit. I don't know what we're gonna do with like this husk of a city, but we got it. I hope my nuke finishes before the war ends so that I have to, I have a little city to test it out. I don't know. New York, Philadelphia, Washington all seem like great options. I'm gonna go ask the Germans for some men. I right, guess not. The German Empire doesn't have enough manpower to give us. Bullshit. How much? Excuse me? Not enough? What do you mean not enough? You have 5.77 million. All right, boys. We might capture Washington before nuking it. I, I know, I, I know, guys. That's weird. Usually there's a notification when a country captures Washington. But since we're playing the fucking Alpine Protectorate, they can't be bothered generating a message. Oh, damn it. Okay, so the United States has capitulated before we could do the funny. But damn, oh, we have a lot of war score. We're gonna take all of the United States. I'll let them have Tennessee, though. Sure, whatever. I already have enough steel. Can't even take Mississippi or West Virginia. I have to give one of them up. Yeah, you can have West Virginia, whatever. 
Wait, the British didn't even take it. They f just made a thing called the Free American Empire. If you were gonna do that, just give it to me. They didn't even pop it. It's just some thing. All right, so I think now the game plan is just kill off Japan. And now since the British have actually taken the Philippines, we have more opportunities to attack from the south. All right, so the naval invasion is ready. And I probably should have taken Taiwan first so that I have like, it's more sure that this is gonna work. But let's see, you know? If this works, I will be considered one of the greatest strategists of the 20th century. Oh my god, they're everywhere. What? That almost never happens when I invade Japan. What the hell? Okay, well, we are gonna get some landings here. But Jesus, that's a lot of troops. We have to push through before we lose all supply here. Okay, we are cutting through our units like butter, so that's good. So we'll quickly capture Kyushu here. Oh, now they recapture Nagasaki, okay. Okay, so after several military blunders, we have finally captured the airport. Except we don't have any manpower, so we're gonna have to send planes that we've already made. Yeah, after even more military blunders, we've finally taken Kyushu, so that's a start. Okay, so we can't break through these two fronts, but I have just the weapons that can help me. Okay, so we finally have an ounce of manpower, so we're gonna deploy the strategic bomber. We have this one right here. Now we just have to wait for it to deploy, and then we'll do a little military operation on these two airports and troops of course now we can do it so i'll be destroying the planes and trying to push through there and here i'll drop two like one here and one here we're gonna make their air force a little crispy there we go then let's push let's push we have done it damn it's not even working they're defending well we'll do it again then oh we've done it yes we need to take advantage of this okay next chance to nuke i get i'm just gonna nuke this airport because that's a lot of airplanes <laughs> imagine living in this region and like your entire home and like the entire city gets destroyed just because there happens to be an airport nearby finally <laughs> at last we're about to pull a pro gamer move here Oh, well, I stopped paying attention down here for a second, and that's a predicament. That's a whole army they just wiped out. They game-removed me. I don't know what the fuck the Germans are doing, just having these divisions there not doing shit. They could, I don't know, be protecting this here. This airport has a lot of planes, so I'm gonna destroy it. And also this one. And also, why not? These three provinces here as well. Alright, perfect. What the fuck are these goobers doing? I love it when we have zero mission efficiency. I finally, Germans got their heads out of their asses, and they're still gonna lose. Incredible. I'm really trying to understand what these buffoons are trying to do. Germany's throwing! Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? I hope all those units die, unironically. They've literally just doomed this army here. You threw. Good job, Germany. You threw. Literally just doomed their allies. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna time travel. That's right. I am absolute scum, I, but I don't care. Okay, so I time traveled back in time a bit, and uh, this time I made it so I wasn't brain dead while invading Japan. Yeah, I think that was the problem before, is that I was brain dead, but this time I'm like enlightened, and I'm, I'm actually, you know, doing well. Oh yes, oh, oh yes. I can't say on YouTube how that made me feel. I'll, I'll let you interpret that how you will. Alright, Tokyo is ours, you can't really see it, but yes. We, we may have done, like, the most unforgivable crime in the Hoi 4 community, which is time travel, but it is what it is. I, to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with what I got. I just got Japan and Korea, and this, and this. I don't, might sound like a spoiled brat right now, but I'm kind of sad still. Alright, now let's go get absolutely clapped by Germany. Alright, to get, like, a good clean front on, like, Germany, I'm also gonna kill Luxembourg. Alright, let's kill them. And of course Luxembourg joins the Australian faction. Not that that's gonna help you very much, I don't think. I, they're dead. I can't tell if the UK gave back Tennessee to the United States or if they actually did an independence thing. And the UK couldn't do shit because I have everything and I'm not gonna join that war. Okay. Alright, if I don't end this Australia war, clearly it's never gonna end. So you know what, I'm gonna take matters into my own hand. And probably send even more people to die. Alright, well that was easier than I thought. I think taking Sydney and Canberra is gonna be enough to end this war. Alright, we have Melbourne. They're getting there. They're really getting there. Where's the- wait, where's the new capital? Is it not Adelaide? Oh, it's Brisbane. I, for, I, I always forget that all these cities in Australia, yeah. They exist. Alright, we've gone Brisbane. Are they dead yet? 1%. Oh my god. Alright, I'll attack Adelaide. And then I'm gonna nuke it. That was a terrible Australian accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
as much as I like Australia, I think I'm gonna have to nuke it. Um, Australians are probably cringing so much. I feel bad. I I'll keep nuking Adelaide until I, I get it in my hands. Alright, we good? We marching in? Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll keep bombing it into a ruin. Alright, we've taken Adelaide. That should be the end of Australia, yes. We'll take this one province up here, I guess, whatever. We'll also take this. I, I don't know. I, I don't care, really. Oh, that's right. The game ends. Okay, you know what? Let's say this is the canon ending of the video, but we do a little side quest here. And since it's not canon, surely I can cheat, right? So, <laughs> the thing with Bring Democracy to Germany is that I need fascist popularity lower, but that would take way too long because I'm only losing 0.01 fascism per day. So, you know what, I'm just gonna do the, the focus cheats and then just do Bring Democracy to Germany. Alright, let's declare war and see how it goes. <laughs> we don't talk about it, guys. We, we don't talk about it. I right, hope you guys enjoyed that one. This is post editing me and I usually don't speak during outros, but holy shit, I have to thank you guys for the immense support that I've gotten in the last few days. Like it's been incredible. Like holy, like subs have doubled pretty much. And yeah, I'm very thankful for all of you guys and uh yeah, see you in the next one.